Welcome to UNF Now on UNF TV. I'm Kayla Kubart. We bring you all the campus and Jacksonville news you need now. Mark your calendars because November 8th at 1210, UNF is getting mobbed. Students are preparing for the first ever UNF flash mob. Unlike a traditional flash mob, this is a kickoff to dance marathon and a surprise campus welcome for the children and families of the Children's Miracle Network. The song Mobbers will be dancing to is a, rem a remix of Lion King theme song and the song called This Time for Africa. Coordinator Andrew Coconato hopes to get national attention with this stunt. I think this is a great story. I think it's an awesome story. This university is coming together for the most part for a cause and doing something fun in the process. What's going to happen is the music is going to kick on and we're going to have one person as Rafiki um, basically start the dance. And they're not going to know what's going on because they're not used to being on campus. And it's going to turn from one person to 20 people to 30 people and potentially 300 people doing the flash mob. If you missed the meeting and still want to get involved, make sure to attend the first rehearsal on September 21st at 8.30 in the Union. This past weekend, the UNF baseball players did more than just play baseball. They raised money for the Haven Hospice. It was a Joes vs. Pros family extravaganza at the Jacksonville Baseball Grounds on Sunday. There, the baseball team came out to teach little athletes how to play baseball and raise money for the Camp Safe Haven Day Camp. The organization is located at 18 counties to arrange day camps for children to participate in to take their minds off of losing someone dear. The event was very successful thanks to the various store, food, and merchandise stands, entertainers, and especially the UNF baseball team. Let's see what Mother Nature has in store today with the UNF Now Weather Report. As if you don't see enough peace signs on clothing and signs these days, you'll be seeing a lot more of them tomorrow. Wednesday, September 21st, is International Day of Peace and is a day to practice peaceful acts. The Intercultural Center for Peace and the Interface Center will be hosting this celebration at the Student Union Plaza. The Jacksonville community, UNF students and faculty, Hands-On Jacksonville organization, One Jacks, and Healthy Osprey will all be there contributing ways to express peace through music, education, health, volunteering, and art. So do your part and spread the peace tomorrow. Want to know the truths about tofu? The UNF faculty members in the Department of Nutrition and Dietetics have put an end to the bad rumors about tofu. Tofu is not just for vegetarians, it is a good substitute for meat and is considered a cheese, not a dairy-based cheese. It is high in protein but does contain healthier fats. For all you men out there who do like tofu, it is in fact not harmful for you to eat. To find out more information or to ask a question about tofu, you can contact Rodriguez at jrodriguez at unf.edu. Well, now let's see what the world of sports has for us today with the UNF Now Sports Report. With your UNF Now Sports Report, I'm Rachel Kowalski. After Sunday's nightmarish loss to the New York Jets, the Jacksonville Jaguars will decide on the possibility of another quarterback shuffle. Backup quarterback Luke McCown threw four interceptions in Sunday's game, resulting in a 32-3 loss against the New York Jets. Jacksonville kicker Josh Goby put the Jags' only score of the game on the board with a 55-yard field goal. First string quarterback Blaine Gabbert came on the field in the fourth quarter, completing five of six pass attempts for 52 yards. But some Jags fans wonder if Gabbert, a rookie, is ready for this, this Sunday's game against the Carolina Panthers and their explosive starting quarterback, Cam Newton. Del Rio says the Jags will do the things that make sense for them to win this Sunday. Del Rio and his coaching staff will meet this week to discuss the quarterback situation and announce their decision later in the week. University of North Florida, Florida Athletics brings on a new member to their administrative team. 
Jacksonville native Nick Morrow will be the Associate Athletic Director for Finance. Morrow, a graduate of UF, will handle the financial items for the athletic department and serve as head of the athletic business office. Prior to joining the staff at UNF, Morrow oversaw and managed large projects at the University of Maryland, even serving as game manager for Maryland football and men's basketball. UNF Athletics Director Lee Moon says Morrow is a perfect fit for the school's growing Division I program. Two Jacksonville University football players can now add national recognitions to their resumes. College football performance awarded wide receiver Colby Walden with the National Kick Returner of the Week and tight end Quinton Davis with the National Tight End of the Week. The awards were received in the wake of the Dolphins' 37-30 win against Charleston Southern last Saturday. Walden, from Tampa, returned the opening kickoff 93 yards for a touchdown and finished the game with 185 return yards. Davis, a Jacksonville native, had a 43-yard pass from quarterback Josh McGregor, 117 receiving yards and a touchdown. Davis has the most receiving yards in a game by the Dolphins this season. Um, I did want to make a correction. Gabbert is not the first string quarterback. He is the backup quarterback. And, you know, the JU uh, winning the national recognition is even more reason for UNF to have a football team. Definitely. Definitely. We definitely really need to keep up our undefeated records. So. I know. Got to put those shirts uh, into good use. Make sure we actually back up that still undefeated. Well, thank you for tuning in and checking in with us anytime you need your news now. Have a great day, Jacksonville.